what advice do you have for younger women as we're navigating this dating scene? Man, um, treasure yourself. Like, wait. Don't give it away so fast. Make them wait forever for it. All of it. And just have confidence in yourself, and they'll see it in you, and they'll they'll treat you like that. But if you're not confident, they'll treat you like that. that. Yeah. Dating in L.A., you know, this is... I, I do know. And I'm from New York. I'm like, this is... I do, being a single woman, it's like, back to keeping it all to myself. Don't just give it to anybody. <laughs> this is what I always say. First of all, you're right. Knowing yourself is key. But I say, if you have a list, which I have, and I feel like most of us do, whether you actually wrote it down or it's up in here, you have got to get rid of it. You have got to rip up that list. Stop trying to check people off or I mean, check attributes off that list and just go with what you're feeling. Like there's certain things, right? Like that it's a foundation that you're not going to move on. But the whole like, he's gotta be this height. He's gotta look like this. I mean, I've told Brian this before. If I was sticking to my list, I probably wouldn't have picked Brian, you know? And Brian is the absolute love of my life. So imagine if I was still sticking to my list. So number one rule, if you have one, let it go. Stick to your morals, stick to what you believe in, but you don't need to be checking things off. Like he's got A, B, C, and D. Absolutely, and you brought up your fiance, so I overheard you. The wedding is coming, the summer 2019. It's the end of summer 2019. I'm so excited. Um, it's nice, I haven't given the official date yet, yes. but it will be destination wedding. I, I feel like we've had a lot of people doubt us because it took a long time, but what I tell people is we need to get to know each other. And, and like it's getting to know each other off camera, camera in real life and in real situations and going through real things. And now we're at the point where it's like I've hired my wedding planner, we know when we're gonna do it, we know where, we're just like getting the details now. So it's exciting, like I never thought that I would want to do the whole big wedding. I always thought I'd go down to the courthouse, but I think when you find the person, you really want to celebrate the love that you have. Yay, and you have the dress. Who was with you when you picked out the dress? No, 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 I haven't officially picked out the dress. I know who I want to design it. So on the show, it's like a full circle moment. So I feel like it's the first time I really talked about it, but the, the woman that, or the, I met Brian in a Randy Rom dress. Brian proposed to me in a Randy Rom dress. So it makes sense for me to have a Randy Rom dress when I'm walking down the aisle towards him. And I'm like very big on like threes and just full circle moments. And so Randy Rom is gonna be designing my dress. So first of all, we wish you blessings and peace and love and a healthy, happy marriage, right? Thank you. Good Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Good meeting you. So of course, you're no newbie to comedy. Can you tell me with uh, there's a lot of like sensitivities around comedy and that conversation right now. Perfect.